You ever felt like you're getting nowhere in life? You ever felt like you're just stuck in a rut and you can't get out of it? You ever look at your life and think like, man, I just want so much more out of my life. So we're going to get into a lot of the things that everybody experiences that holds us back in our life. But one of the biggest ones for all of us is just fear. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the unknown, just flat out fear. A lot of us walk around scared. We're scared we're going to fail. We're scared someone's going to laugh at us. We're scared that we're going to be judged. And this fear holds us back because we're so scared of doing anything. None of it actually matters because all that stuff's going to happen. Somebody's going to make fun of you. Somebody's going to judge you. You're going to fail. You're also going to succeed if you don't give up. And to stay stuck in these fears and not accomplish anything in your life or move forward or do better, it's just not a place to be. I've been there. I've been hopeless. I've been at the bottom. I've had nothing. I wanted nothing. I had no hope for the future. I know what that feels like, and it's not a good feeling. I also know the feeling of having an abundance of hope, an abundance of there's no cap to the ceiling. And I think that's so much better. That's what got me into programming and to begin with. That's what got me into this YouTube channel to begin with is overcoming those fears. And I challenge you to do the same thing. Think of something that you're scared to do because you're scared you might fail or you're scared someone might judge you and do it anyways, because it doesn't matter. And we only have one life to live. I suggest you do it. We start to learn that other people's opinions don't even matter. None of it matters. And most people are so self-centered. They're not paying attention to you anyways. Right. And if they are, They just want a distraction from their own fear, from their own life. And I just want to say I get it because I lived that life for so long. But there is a better way. But you got to walk through this fear. This fear, once we start walking through it, we start to build a confidence in ourselves. Because that's another thing we all struggle with is real confidence. I do it all the time. And I'll go through stages where the first half of the day, I'll feel like I can do everything. And I'm on top of the world. And the second half of the day... I'm like, what am I doing? Nobody wants to hear you go lay down, be quiet. But this self-doubt talk that we all do to ourselves, you just got to muffle it or you got to drown it out with some positive self-talk. And through walking through these fears that I'm talking about, you'll begin to build this self-confidence and that little negative self-talk, you'll just still be there because we all deal with it but it'd be a little bit quieter. It'd be easier to deal with. Another thing I struggled with a lot is that I felt like I couldn't do anything if I couldn't perfect it, right? If it wasn't going to be perfect, I wasn't even going to try to do it. And honestly, the only way that we even get to perfection, which isn't even a real thing, is that we have to go through and learn. And I think of this YouTube channel as an example of that for my own personal journey. I look at some of my first videos and how different they look today. And I remember the first videos, I was like, there's no point. I don't want to do it. I can't perfect it. I'm not good enough. I don't know what to do, but I just did it anyways. Here we are. My videos are still far from perfection, but they are much better than they were in the beginning. It's the same for anything else in life. Think about when you first started learning how to code, if you're coding, right? Your first bit of code, you probably didn't know what was going on or what's going on. And after some time, you're like, ooh, I could iterate through arrays all day, huh? I could do some for loops in my sleep, right? And that stuff builds over time, builds confidence, but you got to walk through the fear and you got to know that nobody's perfect. It's never going to get perfect. It's never, there's always going to be something that you can do better at. There's always some more growth. And this is something that holds back so many of us and you just got to walk through it. Another one is procrastination. And let me tell you, that is my brother. I know all about procrastination. And what I had to do to get through procrastination is I had to make little charts, right? Is it important and urgent? Is it important, but not urgent? Is it not urgent, but it's important? Or is it not important and not urgent? I was able to start prioritizing things I needed to do. And it got me out of more procrastination. And I noticed when I actually started doing that, my career in in behavioral health started to go through the roof, right? I got a job and then a bigger job and then a bigger job. And I was like, oh, this happened really quick. And it was because I was practicing these things in my life. Now, there's some other things that can come into why you're being held back. 
And it can be external conflicts that we all have to experience sometimes in our lives. And it's a lack of support, negative environments. These things are a little bit harder to deal with and you have to deal with them on a base to base. But a lot of times you can remove yourself from negative environments and find people that support you. Now, if you're stuck in a position that you just cannot leave, I suggest start finding groups, networks, the comments of this channel, and start finding a group of people to support you, at least help you emotionally get through whatever it is you're going through, because a lot of these external forces can cause internal turmoil. But the point of all this is that everybody goes through these struggles. You're not alone when you're going through this stuff. And it's so important to just start taking steps, start doing something, whatever it may be. Just start doing it. Focus on the progress. Focus on taking little steps at a time and doing something different. One of my favorite things to say, if you want something different, you got to do something different. I challenge you today to start doing something different in your life. And I really don't even know why I made this video because I was supposed to shoot a video about AI and I was sitting here and I'm thinking and I'm getting ready to shoot and I'm trying to get in the mode. And it just kept, I kept, it kept pulling to me like, Hey, make this video, make this video, tell people they're not alone in their struggles, right? There is a way through all this stuff, whatever you're going through, there's a way through it somehow, some way. I challenge you to find that way. If you want some help, hit me up in the comments. If this brought you some value, hit like, and subscribe. I appreciate you watching this video until next time.